Hey there, Cornerstone. So here we are on day nine of our 21 days of prayer and fasting, uh, again, with our theme being no boundaries. And I've just been talking about the, you know, the, the fact that, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, when they go into a fast, they fast for things that they want. And, uh, and we set up our goals and our dreams and our ideas and what we feel like we want. And so we pray into that thinking that we can somehow in, in, in some bad teaching is to, that we can somehow twist God's arm to uh, serve our needs by prayer and fasting. And that's not what fasting is about at all. It's all designed by God to align us with what he's thinking. And so that we can understand his boundless love, his boundless power, his boundless grace, his boundless mercy that is uh, available to us. That's why we live a life of no boundaries is because we align ourselves with Jesus Christ who went to uh, no limits to die on the cross for you and for me. Which brings me to today's reading. You know, uh, I'm, I'm going to read to you out of a passage out of the book of Colossians, Colossians chapter 1, actually. And, um, you know, the book of Colossians was written by Paul to the church of Colossae. And the whole reason was because there was some heresy that was that was seeping into the church. There was some false teaching. And so Paul writes this letter to combat that. And he doesn't really ever address what the false teachings were or the heresies were. However, what he does address is the one true thing that has no boundaries. And that's the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I want you to listen to this passage of scripture. And then I'm going to preach to you for about an hour. And then we're going to go. So here we are. I'm kidding. All right. Colossians chapter one and verse three. And he says, we always thank God, the father, our Lord Jesus Christ. When we pray for you, because you have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love you have for all your saints. Now watch this. Verse five, <clears throat> the faith and love that springs from the hope that is stored up for you in heaven and that you have already heard about here in the word of God truth the gospel in the word of truth the gospel that has come to you all over the world this gospel is bearing fruit that's what i want you to pay attention to all over the world this gospel is bearing fruit okay um let's stop right there because i, I want you to hear something here the message of the cross and the resurrection of Jesus, the good news, that's what gospel means. It means good news. It's the good news. It works whether you are here in New England or whether you're in the Midwest or on the Gold Coast or you're in the down under. It doesn't matter where on this planet you are, in what time frame you live in, in what era you grew up in, in what socioeconomic situation you surrounded yourself with. It doesn't matter the, 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 the places that you have found yourself in, the bondage that maybe that you're struggling with. None of that limits the power of the gospel. The gospel is the life that that's the life changing message that Jesus died on a cross. He loved us so much that he died on a cross for our sins. And that if we will just believe in him, then we too can have that eternal life that came because he beat death, beat hell, beat the grave, overcame. And that is what we're about to celebrate here in a couple of weeks as we move into this Easter season. And so I am so charged by this because the gospel is, is the power, the, the, the life-giving, life-changing message that it doesn't matter if it's told from a pulpit or if it's told to the cubicle next to you. It doesn't. Listen, when I was a youth pastor and texting was just starting to become popular, I led four kids to the Lord over texting. That's the power of the gospel. It's not my persuasive words. It's not my charisma or my ability to deliver a message. It's the power of the gospel. And the gospel is reaching all over the world and it's changing people's lives. It says that you have already heard about the word of truth, the gospel that has come to you all over the world. This gospel is being bearing fruit and growing just as it's been doing among you since the day you heard it. 
man, I just, listen, all I can tell you is this. Stay true to what is true. And that is the gospel message of Jesus Christ. Your life was changed and transformed because of it. Share this message. That's our, that's our, that's our privilege to be able to share this good news. It's great news. It's great news, man. Share it with everybody you know because it bears fruit all over the world, no matter where you are. It has no boundaries. God bless you. I hope you have a great night tonight, and we'll catch you again tomorrow evening. God bless.